As we head into the months that are warmer and more humid, we need to start preparing for facial eczema management on your farm. As global temperatures rise, we need to start thinking about this disease a lot earlier than we have traditionally done in the past. When we think about facial eczema, the first images that pop into our head are animals that have peeling skin, red udders and are irritable during milking. It actually only happens in about 5% of animals. Facial eczema is actually all about the damage to the liver and 95% of the time, you're not gonna see anything on the outside of the cow. So let's take a look at a liver. This is a beautiful liver. It is dark, it is shiny, and has really defined edges and lobes. This here is the powerhouse of our cows. It helps them to make milk, it helps our young stock to grow, and it helps remove the toxins from the breakdown products of grass. When the cows eat the sporodesmin toxin that causes facial eczema, it goes into the blood and ends up at the liver. And it is here where it causes total carnage. It destroys the bile ducts of the liver and lots of fibrous tissue comes in and replaces all this beautiful dark liver tissue. So what do you think this does to milk production? This is an example of a herd with cows affected by facial eczema. The line at the top is the production of cows without facial eczema, and the line down at the bottom is the production from cows that have liver damage from facial eczema. These cows did not have any clinical signs. The farmer was totally unaware of the damage that facial eczema was doing and he dried the cows off early because they were low producers. They were low producers because their liver was damaged. If you look at this loss over a period of about 70 days, which is how long we think a single damage may affect them for, this can add up to some serious money. If we start adding in drying cows off early, the effects on cow health and deaths, we will start seeing the devastating effects of this production thief.